Oh no, man down. We just made these two standing candy cauldrons. Mine's a witch. And mine's a skeleton, and we'll show you how we made them right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. Uh, this week, it's skulls versus skirts. <laughs> we had a viewer request for a standing candy dish. It's got the little witch legs, it's super cute. So I got a little skirt here, and that's what we're making for my version. But Garrett, he couldn't handle that. He's got to make his own version. So I had to get talked down. <laughs> I did have a big plans. He did. Like the giant plans. Yeah, he, he had a skull and, and a motor, and it was puking. It was a whole thing, and I was yeah, like, was no, that's not what we're doing. We're doing easy candy dishes this time. <laughs> so she talked me down, and I settled on a similar candy dish with a scarier approach. He does light up though. We have a new sponsor this week that we're really excited about. This week's video is brought to you by HelloFresh. HelloFresh. Step one, order online. Choose from 25 plus meals each week. Lots of options, vegetarian, calorie smart, pescatarian. If you forget to order online one week, they'll send you four pre-selected meals. So you may even try something new. We do four meals each week. And if you see one that says Hall of Fame, that is no joke. Those are the best meals. You can even pause them if you're traveling or on vacation one week. Step two, unbox. The package will arrive on your porch and almost all of it is recyclable. Each meal is labeled and in its own bag. The meats are at the bottom underneath ice packs. Step three, meal prep. Step-by-step -step instructions are included on a recipe card. All ingredients are pre-measured and pre-portioned so there's no waste. Each meal is about 10 minutes prep time, 30 minutes cook time. Now that the kids are back in school and have extracurricular activities, we have even less time to go to the grocery store, so these meals are perfect. Step four, cook. Everything is timed out perfectly, so it all comes out at the same time, looking professional. And it's so easy that sometimes we even have the kids cook dinner for us while we're filming. Step five, finish and serve. The last step on each recipe card shows you how to plate it and put it all together. Step six, taste test. This is my favorite step, and this is probably the longest step. <laughs> I've learned so many new things using HelloFresh, so many new techniques. My favorite part is that there's always a sauce or a gravy that enhances and changes the flavor of a piece of chicken. A meatloaf, a burger, <laughs> you name it. Street tacos, I mean the street tacos are my favorite. I've used new seasonings I've never tried before. And the most important part is HelloFresh is helping me teach my kids how to cook. Teaching me how to cook? Yes. <laughs> you can use our code Kim and Garrett 14 to get up to 14 free meals across your five boxes with HelloFresh. Visit the link in the description for more details. Don't forget you can use our code Kim and Garrett 14 to get up to 14 free meals across your five boxes with HelloFresh. Visit the link in the description for more details. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We needed a candy bucket, since we're making a candy stand thing, a dowel, a two by six, this is the shortest one we could find at four foot, a pre-cut piece of half inch plywood, it's a 12 inch circle, some glue, paint, a little skirt, and uh, some screws. I think that's it, right? Yeah, I think and that's it. That is it. Step two, we're gonna make all of our cuts. I'm gonna cut this dowel in half, and this will be two legs. Then I'm gonna cut some shoes out of this two by six. Yes, we printed this little shoe pattern. We just went over to Google, looked for shoe silhouettes, which shoe silhouettes, found this one, cut it out on paper. We're gonna trace it onto our board using our Sharpie marker here, and we're gonna cut it with the jigsaw. Feet are all cut out. You look a little rough, but that's okay. Mine's a monster, she's a witch. For Halloween too. So now we're gonna put holes in the feet <laughs> so that we can put the dowels in there. So I have a, a one and one eighth inch 
four center bit. Just gonna put it about where his legs would hit his feet, right? Yeah. Just go into the top of the four center bit, right? Yeah. Looks deep enough. Step three. Now we paint. I'm just gonna paint all of mine licorice with this uh, country chic paint, all yeah. black. And I'm going to paint my legs persimmon orange, and then I'm gonna paint my feet in black with the licorice, and I'm gonna paint the base black licorice. I decided my legs are looking a little boring and my feet looking a little dull, so I'm gonna take some MDF over to the Glowforge I'm gonna cut out some bones and some skeleton feet. That'll look cool. Yeah, just give it a little, a little something. Zhuzh it up. Zhuzh it. Step four, and now we have the accents. It's really just some electrical tape wrapped around these legs. Well, that's what he just realized. Garrett doesn't have any add the accents for his step because his is boring. I am accentless. Because his is scary. Mine so. is not boring. Mine <laughs> is going to be... <laughs> scary. Slightly scary. <laughs> so we're going to add some stripes on her legs. She's got her little orange legs, but she needs the black stripes to go up them. So we're going to use electrical tape to do that. Electrical tape. All right, and then the second accent I'm going to add is we're going to cut some vinyl on the Cricut uh, and put that on the front of our cauldron. It's going to say trick or treat. And the third thing is I'm going to make some bows for her shoes. Now, I am not putting anything on the front of my cauldron. I don't want to draw attention to the candy. See, the goal <laughs> is to have as much candy left at the end of the night as possible. So my I goal have a snack for a week is everyone to walk up and say, oh my gosh, she's so cute, look at her little legs. No, my goal is for them to say, ah, there's no candy here, just this scary ghoul. Yeah, I was scared to put my hand in there. All right, let's do this electrical tape. I think we need to do this in right. tag oh, team. Yeah, anyway, I got an idea. Just line it up, just hit them with a pencil where you want them so that they'll be both the same. Um, them. I was thinking it would go like this all the way up. Are you gonna try to spiral it? You're gonna do just, Rings all the way up? Oh, all right. You can try to spiral it. All right. All right. Start spiraling. All right. Spiralized. Not too bad. Good. That's not bad, yeah. All right. Yeah, do one across okay. the bottom. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see if we can keep it <laughs> relatively consistent. All right. All right. We'll see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. That worked perfectly. All right, moment of truth. Let's see. Pretty good. Not too bad. <laughs> Accent. Oh, your last trick. But ba bam Ooh, those are a treat. <laughs> I made some bows for her shoes. It's so cute. Look at these guys. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna attach them yet. Hot glue. We're gonna hot glue them on? Yeah, everything's getting hot glue. Look at that. Yeah, it makes it so easy. Alright, and that's the same old bow that I always make. So if you've seen any of my bow tutorials, we could even post a separate bow tutorial that I keep promising to do yeah, anyway. You should do it on a Tuesday. Yeah. Tuesday's Tula. tips. Tuesday tip. Step five. We're going to bring it all together. We're bringing it all together with some of that Gorilla Hot Glue. We're going to see how this one holds up too. So basically, I'm just going to glue my legs into my feet and then I'm going to screw the disc on top of the legs, but we're gonna do it slightly back. 
And then I'm gonna hot glue all of my pieces on there, all my little bone pieces, including my feet. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> This is you the know what's cool about my feet? He was hiding those feet. <laughs> They're so big. They don't make fun of my big feet. <laughs> but the cool thing is, is look, I just guessed in Glowforge where to put the circle. Bam! Look at that. Line wow, up. Wow. Perfect. My toes hang over. My, this, my toes. this is what his toes look like anyway. So. Yeah, they do. <laughs> this is what it looks like when I wear sandals. <laughs> like those giant feet. <laughs> Oh what are you goodness. doing, Kim? <laughs> Look at my dainty feet. They're so cute. Why are you so giant-sized? <laughs> He's a monster. <laughs> okay, well, I look forward to seeing them all put together. All right. Are you just hot gluing yours together? Yeah, I'm just going to hot glue the legs on. Same thing. I'm going to screw the top on, and I'm going to hot glue uh, the little bows onto her shoes. And, and then, oh, well, and then I'm going to add a skirt. Oh. And I'm not sure. I think I'm just going to add the skirt onto this. I tried putting it on the bottom of the bucket, but it's so big it slips off. Yeah. So, yeah. A little just skirt hot, slips let's off. Let's glue it to the disc. Okay. Give the disc a skirt. All right. I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's do this. Glue them up. I'm just going to stick a bunch of glue in my These hole. are going to be... This is so quick and easy. I mean, if you have a jigsaw, this is the hardest part. That wasn't too hard. Well, it wasn't hard, it but was just, you got to have the right tool. Yeah, and we didn't say that in the beginning that you needed a jigsaw. It's the right tool for the job. <sighs> All right, let's see if that holds. Perfect. Oh, man, I forgot to put my foot on. Hold on. Oh, no, quick. Well, oh. I'll just do it like this. It's hilarious. Freaking hilarious. That is so funny. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> Wait, don't you want to put a little on his toes? You don't yeah, think you need it? I don't know where those toes will be. On the toe? Yeah, yeah, right about there, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, you got this, let's do it. Oh my gosh, I love it. That is so cute. <laughs> oh, this... I don't know if you guys can see and get the real gist of how big these feet are. All right, we're gonna put a screw in the back, kind of the back of the circle, if, if that makes sense. So, uh, most of the uh, circle will be over their toes. My guy has plenty of toes. Yeah, I have a little less toes. Move these down here. I'm gonna put the screws in the board first. Oh, okay. And then I'm gonna try to line them up. Well, then do you know what the exact spacing is? Let's see, six and a half. Six and a half. Great, they're like, this over here. spooky skeleton guy. I gotta hot glue him in here. So I'm just gonna kind of make it look like he's holding the bucket from within. <laughs> it's like his hula hoop. Yeah, it's like his hula hoop <laughs> of candy. <laughs> In case you're looking for the same little skeleton guy, we picked this up at Walmart. He was like $15, so there's not much to him. If you can hear, he's styrofoam for $15. Yeah, there's a lot of glue over on this side. I'm not even turning it that way. Here, so here's Kim's side. Here's my side. You wanna see my side? No. It's gonna make me- <laughs> Why so much glue? Because it wouldn't stick. Yeah, that's a spider hand. You're going to flip him out of there. He's not in there that good. The glue isn't all the way good. dry. All right. <laughs> Thank you.
All right, what do you think? Skeletons or skirts? Now my guy gives just enough fright so that you get to keep some of the candy. <laughs> and she's just so cute. Look at these bows for these shoes. Yeah, They're I'm adorable. afraid everybody will come up and stick their hand in yours and <laughs> you won't have any candy left by the end of the day. She's so cute. These things are, I love them. I love them. Yeah. What do you think about, what do you think about his feet? I think I should have went just a little bit bigger. <laughs> I think so too. I can't wait till we show you guys final shots and you can see just how big these feet are. <laughs> All right, well, we're about out of time. So if you're not joining us for the patron after show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it and make it again. Shut a balance. No, Both. no, come on. Just mine. Yeah, I'm not giving him that. Balance mine is tippy toe. Whoops. He hit his head. Yeah, you're gonna break him before you ever get him downstairs. <laughs> <laughs>